if you want to know how to take your nails off without using any tools or nail polish remover or acetone, I got you covered. Keep watching. What's up, Summer? You know you love me and you can't get enough of me. Ooh, wee! It's your girl Marie, and y'all already know I'm bad bringing that motherfucking heat. So, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a story time of what I got going on, and I'm going to show you how you can take your acrylic nails off at home with using household materials. The only thing you will need is hot water, a bowl, olive oil, any well, any type of oil, canola oil, and Dawn soap. I'm not gonna keep talking. Let's get into this video. Your girl is about to reach 100k on Instagram. Super, super motherfucking excited about it. Booked the whole photo shoot to do. Okay, so you also need hot water. My water ended up getting cold while I was doing the intro. So you'll be better seeing how I did it. Okay, so warm water, of course. All right, so back to the story time. So, all right, so super excited. I had everybody in place, photographer, studio, uh, makeup artist, nail artist, hairstylist, had it all scheduled. We, was we, were, we were planning to do it Sunday, but your girl was growing so fast on Instagram that I went from like 94K so like now, as of today, I'm at 99,000 followers. So I was like, I'm gonna have to move this up because I want the content to be ready for when I hit 100K. Like, whatever I had scheduled for that day, fuck it, we're not dropping it, we're dropping this 100K. Content. So it's very important, very imperative. Talk to my nail technician about it. She understood the assignment. She was gonna order whatever she needed to get my nails done. She wasn't even gonna do my nails. She was just gonna make press songs for me. Because as you can see, I already had nails on. So, she was just going to do press-ons for me and she was going to help me take these off. She goes MIA for a whole like 24 to 48 hours. I want to say like 24. Uh, who cares? She goes MIA. I finally talked to her today and I'm like, I've been calling you. I've been calling you to let you know the update of like, I know I mentioned that I need them by Saturday. I need them by today. Literally like the day before because you were scheduled to have them ready for me by Saturday, the press songs. And I was like, at this point, like, don't even worry about getting them off because I was trying to come to you this morning to get them off, but you wasn't answering me yesterday. So we get on the phone, we're talking about it or whatever. And she's like, okay, so let me just go ahead and start working on your nails now and I'll have them ready. So I'm like, okay, cool. Everything's understood. Everything's understood. She texts me, she sends me a text message, maybe like, an hour later and you want to hit me with this crazy first of all you hit me with a price that's way more than what I normally pay for you to do my press ons and then on top of that now all of a sudden you need a deposit and it's like if you can't do it just say you can't do it if you don't want to do it say you don't want to do it um but you're trying to play it or kick it to me like, oh, well, I got to order this stuff and I got to do this and I got to do that. And I'm like, we talked earlier this week. You said you already ordered the stuff you needed for my nails. And what are you going to order today that's going to be here by today? So I pretty much, instead of me going off and doing what I do best, which is cussing bitches out, I pretty much was like, don't even worry about it. I'll figure something else out. But in the midst of all of that, now I'm in another bind and my photo shoot is today. So hence why we're here, sitting here, soaking these nails off in water and olive oil, praying that these bitches come off. Mm. Y'all, this shit don't look like it's working. Let's add some more olive oil. Maybe it ain't enough olive oil. Y'all, I need these nails off. Like, I'm not even fucking playing. I need these nails off. Off immediately all right so y'all it's just so frustrating this oil really look like glitter it's just so frustrating because it's like i'm trying to stay focused i'm trying to keep pushing i'm trying to keep working and it just seems like i'm getting hit with 
a problem here, a problem there. Like, still have to show up and still push and still get this content done because I'm growing and this is a huge milestone. But it feels like I got so much good going on that now it seems like the bad is starting to outweigh the good. And I can't really fully truly bask in my moment. Like this is supposed to be about me. The one time shit is supposed to be about me and I can't have it be about me. Like it's just so frustrating. I swear to God, y'all. I never do an intro looking the way I look. All right. Damn. Okay, so I restarted the timer for eight minutes, if y'all didn't see that. But it's just so frustrating, y'all. Like, so frustrating. I got like a million videos that I still got to edit today so that I can still drop content even though I'm working on future content. Like I, I have certain readings that I want to get done so that I can finish a book by a certain time. Like I'm starting to give myself deadlines. Y'all, I want to fucking scream. I really do. Like I really do. I really do. It's like how am I going to build a team, have solid people around me. like. The price wasn't the problem. The price is never the issue. But don't don't go out your way to make it difficult when you really know it's you and you just don't want to do it. Like I had a whole 20 minute conversation with you and everything was fine. You, oh yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. To turn around and be like, yeah, for a million dollars. What? Like, I'm not even gonna say that, but yeah, because this is not a bashing video. This is not that, like, I'm just fucking frustrated. <laughs> like, to say the least, I am fucking frustrated. And I just need a two minute. And I don't care if these don't work or not. I'm still posting this goddamn video because everything is content. And this shit is not working. Oh wait, maybe it is. This one look like it's, it look like it's lifting a little bit. TikTok, come on, please be good. clutch. I don't know, maybe I don't have the right oil. But the girl said any kind of oil. I do need to invest in like some coconut oil. I need to invest in some argan oil. All that stuff is good for shit like this. But I told myself, I'm not getting no more nails. The thing press on, I ain't doing it. When I go get my nails done, it'll be polished. Because, mm -mm. let's grow my nails out and I'll just keep them short. Because I can't. And this is why I do not like relying on people. This is why I am a one-man show when it comes to content, social media, my life. Like This is why I prefer to be alone. Because when you include people, they always gonna let you down. That's what niggas do. And then they ain't even real about the shit. Just say you can't do it. Got me sitting here soaking my hands in some goddamn water and olive oil. It's some bullshit, I swear to God. I swear to God, it's some bullshit. This some bullshit. This is some bullshit. Okay, so I've been letting it soak. This one finally came off. Now I'm trying to get this one off. It feel like it's lifting up. Ooh. It's lifting, y'all. Y'all see that? The worst freaking part. So I got it up over there. But over here, this motherfucker is not bulging. Damn, I don't want to put my nail off, but I might have to. Ooh, got it. Got it. Okay. All right, y'all, we're making progress. All right, them not wiggling yet. And, all right, so we down. <laughs> and you said, I need you for what, bitch? 
All right. Let's keep soaking. Let's keep soaking. Keep soaking. Alrighty guys, so I kept soaking and then taking my nails off, soaking and taking my nails off. I was finally able to get all my nails off. So this wraps up this video. I hope that you guys are able to see that you can take your nails off at home. You do not have to pay a million dollars to go get the nails taken off. And yes, I love you, Subby. Don't forget to wear your courage with pride and stay true to you because that's the best you. Until next time, peace. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it.